sure exactly. We'll find out soon enough. Carly, what are you doing in my office? Mr. Horton, Marcus. Is there something I can do for you? You know, I, I'm really sorry to have just barged in like this. I probably should have waited until you were in, but I... I wanted to give you this. Well, what is it? I did a little research on Sean Douglas's condition. I thought you might want to see it. Oh, I appreciate your concern for this case. Well, I think this will be very useful. <laughs> Can't thank you enough for all you've done. Well, if it means Sean Douglas hearing again, it'll all be worth it. Look, I don't want to take up any more of your time, okay? I'll be going. Oh, one minute before you go. Uh, there's something I wanted to ask you. I'm glad I ran into you today. Sure, what is it? Well, you remember that uh, um, visiting dignitary I told you about? Werner Bayer, uh, representative of the von Leuschner family? I seem to vaguely recall. I was telling Marcus on the way in that uh, he's going to be a day late. Oh, he is? Yes, he's stopping off at uh, Tahiti to visit someone. He'll be here in a day or two. Tahiti? Yes, he has some business to check into. Since you lived in Tahiti, I thought you'd be the one to show him around. Wait a minute, you want me to do it? Will you? Well, I, I, I appreciate the offer, Dr. Horton, but I don't know. Is there a problem? No, no, it's, it's no problem. It's just that I'm new here, and I really don't know my way around the hospital very well. Well, what if you don't the, want to, I understand. No, it's, it's not that I don't want to. Look, I'll tell you what, why don't I go ahead and check my schedule, and I'll get back to you on it, all right? All right, I'll see you later. Yeah, see you later. Mm. Uh. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, sure, unless you're here to accuse me of being a cat burglar or something. Well, no, I just... Saw so how upset you were. I'm upset. Ah, great. See, I'm a little clumsy today, that's all. Carly, look, I know we agreed, no questions, right? But you are upset, and you do need to talk to someone. Now, you were willing to open up to me earlier. I thought maybe... That was a mistake. Well, you didn't think so then. In fact, you were, you were anxious to get something off your chest, and this is a great chance to do that. What do you say? I can't, Marcus. You're afraid you're going to uh, let out some deep, dark secret, like you're the missing von Leuschner heiress? Huh? Where would you come up with something ridiculous like that? It's true, isn't it? <laughs> you know, I really, I need to just get this cleaned up, because somebody's going to come in here and they're going to slip on the floor. Carter, you're scared. I can see no, that now. Maybe, maybe I can help. It's a good thing I didn't, drop, it's it's thing I didn't drop the glass. It would have broken, and, and it's hey, my idea to hey, put the glass. Hey, hey, listen to me. Now, you can't avoid it any longer, all right? That Werner guy, he followed your trail to Tahiti, and now he's here. And if you don't want him finding you, you got to leave town, like right now. Oh, I am tired of running, Marcus. It's true, isn't it? I have been running for years. And every time that I think I can finally settle into a place, I have to pick up and go again. I don't want to do that anymore. No. I like it here in Salem, and I want to spend one, one month hey, in one hey, place. Hey, 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 hey. We're not talking the rest of your life. Just a couple of days till he leaves. That's all. Dr. Horton wants me to show uh, Werner don't, around. Don't worry about it, all right? I can handle it. Don't worry about Dr. Horton. What we have to find right now is a place for you to hide out. I think that's going to do any good. Well, hey, you know, when he comes into town, he sees you're not here, he'll leave. It's worth the trip. Yeah, it's worth the trip. Just me. I'm sorry, I guess I'm a little jumpy these days. Okay. Well, understandably so. At least you don't have to worry about playing tour guide to that Werner or whatever his name is. So I managed to talk to our court and Marcus, let me cover for you. Look, you've got to be very careful, okay? You cannot give me away. Well, of course not. But I can fish around, you know, find out why he's here, and find out if he knows you're here. You're really turning out to be a great friend. Friends help friends. Oh, and I also happen to make a few phone calls, uh, find out about getting you out of town. I just wish I didn't have to go. 
Yeah, but you know you do. I hate this, Marcus. I really do. I hate constantly having to hide. I hate having my friends involved. Well, it won't be for that much longer, right? And your 25th birthday's coming up soon, right? Not soon enough. My birthday will be long gone. I can't help getting the feeling that the closer it gets, the harder they're going to keep looking for me. Yeah, well, don't worry, right? After tomorrow, uh, we're going to have you safely out of town. Right. What about tonight? You, uh, you going to need anything? You going to be all right? No, I'm going to be fine. Thanks. Well, how about if I drive you home? Come on. No, Marcus, you know what? I think I just, I really kind of need to be by myself right now. Okay. Well, if you need me, you know where to find me, right? Yeah.